Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you an effect which is the folded corner uh, effect which looks like this. This is the end product people. This is also the browser preview in Google Chrome and this is what we are going to create. Right. So let's see how we can create this kind of a corner using CSS3. This is actually nothing but a div. And let's see how we could turn this uh, right top corner into this kind of a corner. Let's do that from the very beginning. Uh, in Sublime Text 2. Th that'll be my HTML editor today. So what I'm gonna do is people I'm gonna select the whole code. I'm gonna uh, say Control A and delete to scrap the whole code. I've already saved the document as an HTML document with the uh, .html extension. Okay. Uh, people uh, Sublime Text 2. My Sublime Text 2 is Emmet enabled. It's a code assist package. There's a procedure through which you can do that too. Uh, but when you download it for the first time it won't be emit enabled you need to make it so I, I won't be going through the details of that so let's use emit and code out real quick so HTML colon 5 press tab to expand the code I'm gonna leave the title as document but you should change it ideally okay uh, in the body of the document people I would need a div and let's say I would want it to have a class of folded corner Let's press tab. Okay. <coughs> At the same time, let's say inside uh, I would want a paragraph to have some lorem ipsum. Press tab. Okay. So if you're wondering, uh, you know, how the code is expanding so magically, that's simply because of Emmet, the fantastic package Emmet. Let's save the document up. Right. At this point, let me uh, refresh the browser and take up a browser preview. So, since the division does not have a width or a height or a background color, uh, it looks so plain and vanilla and simple. Right. So, let's start defining the CSS rules. So, after the title tag, people type style, press tab to expand. Okay. In the opening and the closing style tags, people is where I'm gonna insert my rules. Okay. So, let's start defining the class folded corner right oh right <coughs> okay now let's start with the position property and let's set it to relative very very nice simply because I'm gonna create uh, some content inside that's gonna be absolute to this relative div okay let let's make sure that it has some width so let's say a width of 400 tab excellent let's give it some padding so let it be uh, let's say 1 em all around alright margin let's make it not margin bottom margin let's use the margin shorten property let's let it be top and bottom 2 ems <coughs> sorry 2 ems and uh, auto for the left and right so that will center the division uh, left right okay very cool let's make sure that we use the color white simply because we'll have a darkish background and as far as the background is concerned people let me go with a hash triple nine eight six eight alrighty okay so let's save the document up and let's take a browser preview as to what we have created so far okay so very simple uh, a div with some um, padding some margin you know since the uh, margin is 2 em auto so we have up and uh, you know top and bottom margins of 2 ems and left and right margins of auto automatically centering the division very, very cool but we just need to create a you know some uh, folded corner effect here at the top right so let's do that people I'm gonna use pseudo elements I'm gonna use the colon before rule <coughs> to create a pseudo element let's see how we can do that so dot folded corner colon uh, before now colon before and colon after rules allow you to create pseudo elements if you're not good with uh, these rules get back to the tutorial after you completely understand the colon before and after rules how they can actually help you create pseudo elements right oh so now I can actually use the content property to insert some content people 
it can be empty content too right and since it's an empty content it will not have a width and a height I'm gonna position my empty content uh, top and right but before that I must make sure that the position property is set to absolute exactly then I should set it top 0 right 0 simply because I wish to tuck you know the uh, content at the top right corner if I choose some other corner obviously top right may change to top left or bottom right or whatever right but I would want to have my uh, folded corner at the top right so that's the reason after setting the position property to absolute if you remember you know the uh, the class folded corner had the position relative now this has position absolute so I can position the uh, content relative to the earlier class right oh so I'm tucking the new content or the pseudo content the pseudo element in the top right corner very very simple actually people right so <coughs> if I save the document up at this point and uh, take up a preview nothing should have changed exactly because my content is actually nothing null empty absolutely blank strings okay at this point people let me add border so using the border property let me set it to 10 px solid and let me give it a color of let's say mm, hash bd bb 8b Righto. Let's see what it looks like at the moment. Let's refresh. So you see what has happened is this empty content has a 10 px of solid border of this color. You know, if you see this color is slightly lighter in shade to the background of the div. You know, so yeah. So uh, but to achieve the effect that we wish to achieve I'll need to make some change what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this color code or the hex code from here control X to cut it okay and I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the border color property we will border dash color and then I'm gonna make sure that the top border color is white the right border color is white too but the bottom border color is this shade and the left border color is this shade writing the code this way ensures that I can have different colors going for my different borders for all the different four sides I can define different colors okay now this should have a dramatic effect on the browser preview let's check that exactly you see the folded corner effect taking place wonderful people next I'll be adding some box shadow okay but I'll not be going into a lot of detail as to why the shadow appears the way it is going to appear uh, yep and I'm also not gonna use the vendor prefixes just for simplicity's sake ideally you should do that too okay you should uh, use vendor prefixes dash webkit dash dash mouse dash etc check the uh, compatibility and if needed add them but for simplicity's sake I'm gonna avoid it okay so I'm gonna use the box shadow CSS3 property okay um, let me show you a picture I won't go into the details of uh, how the box shadow property actually works uh, or why it appears the way it actually appears but I'm gonna show you the syntax you see we have the horizontal offset as the first value then the vertical offset then the blur radius optional then the spread distance optional and then the color which is optional too okay and if you notice I'm using actually twin box shadows comma separated yes we can have multiple box shadows comma separated okay so this is the uh, X displacement or the horizontal displacement horizontal offset this is the vertical offset people this is the uh, blur radius 
okay so a combination of these two shadows along with the rgba color model a stands for alpha 30% transparency 20% transparency people gives you an effect which gonna look like let me show that to you <coughs> see the way uh, the shadow has appeared around this corner is actually protruding out as well from this corner you can see some subtle shadow out here in the corner people so I'm, how I should be tackling that I'm actually almost done it's very simple people go out here and set the overflow property to a hidden that's it right the core expanded beautifully because of emit the package emit fantastic package people okay so that'll make sure that no shadow extends beyond the division so if I uh, preview now that you know this uh, that little bit of shadow uh, that was extending beyond the uh, div is not extending anymore it's only extending inside since I've set the overflow to be a hidden and the folded corner effect is done it's finalized and it's looking so beautiful people isn't it so uh, it wasn't too difficult actually uh, doing this was it I hope uh, you found this information uh, useful people you have a good day bye bye peace